you know from shows like Parks and Recreation and Good Girls. She stars in the movie Hitman, which is in theaters now and streaming on Netflix June 7th. Let's take a look. Yeah, I know we dropped the ball on this one, but uh, what's the name he used? Ron. Yo, Ron is dope. <laughs> He's like a Caucasian Idris. I would love to grab a beer with that guy, and I'm not talking about Gary. I would get blackout drunk with Ron. I'd let him talk me into ripping lines on the way to Vegas. I would rip my IUD out for Ron. Please welcome back to the show, Rada! Exciting. This is a, a Richard Linklater film. It is. He's one of the greatest. He is. He wrote this script with Glenn Powell, the star of the film, mm -hmm. and it's getting incredible reviews. Yeah, it's it's good. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, but again, sometimes you know we're in things that aren't great. And, oh, and, trust. And, yeah. <laughs> And now it just must feel so special to be in something that, you know, everybody I've talked to who's seen it loves it, and every review I've read loves it. And are you aware when that's happening? Like, oh, look, this is a little, this is special. No. No, I, um, I, oh, I actually, I had seen a, a, a good review or something, and I, so I texted them, and I was like, congrats, I heard it looked, it looked it's great. And then, I hadn't seen it yet, and, because it, it was out at the festivals, and, Glenn um, texted back, yeah, can you believe it's so good? I was like, I mean, sure. I wasn't going to be like, no, I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and he's like, and people loved you. And I was like, well, that's good for me. You know, <laughs> that's, that's nice to hear. You play, uh, <laughs> you play a New Orleans detective. Mm -hmm. Now, New Orleans is known as being a haunted city. I've yeah. heard tell. Yes. Uh, they do uh -huh. sort of haunted tours of the city. They do them. Did you go I, on any? No. No? Sure didn't. Did people I went, try to get you to do them? I went, uh, I went to, a friend of mine just got married there, and part of the, the pre-wedding festivities was, there were different groups going to, on different haunted tours, and I was like, I'll see y'all tomorrow at the <laughs> wedding. <laughs> Hell no, I'm not, not about that. that. Now, no. here's my question. We've talked in the past about mm -hmm. you hosting Ugliest uh, Homes in America, uh -huh. Houses? Ugliest House in America. Ugliest House in America. Now there's a new season, The Scariest House in America. Uh-huh. And yet you're still doing it. It's a contract. OK. <laughs> okay. It is. It's now, a contract. Did, you know, did, you have, were you, did you have trepidation before walking in the door of one of the scariest house options in America? Everyone. Yeah. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. Do you hate Seth, it? Seth, I hate it. Do you? I hate it. Is there anything, do you feel like there's anything you can do to let the spirits know, like, I, hands off? Okay, so I 100% believe in ghosts and spirits and all of that <laughs> and, um, at, but I go in to every house with a feeling of like, don't let any of it in. None of this stuff is going to affect you. So I get my mind in a place where I kind of block it. Like I don't, I try not to think about, I know I'm gonna talk about it, but I don't, I try to block it. And then when I go in, I go, I'm only here for two hours. I'm not here to mess with your <laughs> And then I'm out. <laughs> Cause I don't like it. Here's the thing, I do believe in it. I don't know if I believe all these people. Oh, you know I what I mean? Yeah. So th there's, there's some places where I was like, we gotta get the hell out of here. <laughs> And then some places I'm like, whatever, you put that there. <laughs> <laughs> We've talked in the past, uh, uh, you were uh, studying to be a chemist. Uh-huh. Tried to be in stand-up? Tried, was. Was, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Apologies. <laughs> you, uh, but I did not know uh, opera. Y yeah, well I wanted to. <laughs> this, now this sounds like a try. <laughs> Yeah, we say opera, but I, like when I was little, I don't know what it was. There's like a weird thing where I thought I could sing opera, and I would when like- you, How young were you? When? Eight. Okay. Seven, eight. Okay. And so when I washed dishes, I would sing, I would like do my fake Italian opera, and like, oh, it's it was horrible. Like just rent, my mother would be like. <laughs> 
Um, but I would, I... Where do you think, like, fake know. Italian got planted in your head in the first well, place? Well, I say fake Italian because now I know there are Italian operas. Then I was just singing nonsense. Gotcha. <laughs> Calling it, you know, I didn't, I, I knew that they, it wasn't English. Yeah. <laughs> um, gibberish opera? Did fa has a fake Italian ever come in handy for you? <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> I love a fake Italian. Um, so when I, when I was in college, a friend of mine, I used to go to a friend's uh, dorm, and they, she had this giant breakfast club poster, uh -huh. but it was in Italian. Gotcha. And I remember I was laying on the bed. I had my feet up on the wall, so I was reading, you know, the poster this way, and I was just like, <laughs> And all my friends were like, <laughs> Much like my mother. But I was like, I, I kept doing it, I kept doing it, and I get down to the bo bottom of it, I'm like, soundtrack available. And then I was like, oh, soundtrack available. <laughs> and they were like, really? <laughs> uh, when you first moved to LA mm -hmm. and you're trying to break into the business, mm -hmm. what was, uh, you know, for young people out there who might want to do this, what was your first thing you did to try to get people to <laughs> notice that Retta was in town? See, that's because you know this. I do. You know this story. I'm, I, a I'm aiming for something <laughs> specific. So I really thought, I, so I had an 84 convertible Mustang. Okay. And, and I had the, the plug-in for the disc man. Yeah, I had that too. No judgment, I had that too. And I used to play Prince, top volume, and would be singing Prince and would drive on Sunset Boulevard past all those like outdoor cafes thinking like there was gonna be a producer out there that was like, <laughs> that girl. <laughs> I really thought that I was gonna get it's such a discovered. Bad, it's such a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> because even if it did work, you've driven off. <laughs> No, but listen. The minute they're like her. I drove uh, slow. <laughs> oh, you drove slow? I mostly did it at stoplights. <laughs> and I'd be like, no, 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 no anyone? No. Any <laughs> takers? No? OK? OK? Uh, you it, see me. <laughs> people laying on their horns behind you. Exactly. There's no takers! <laughs> Congratulations Thank on the you. film and the wonderful it. reviews. It's so <laughs> lovely. <laughs> Reda, everybody. Hitman is in theaters now and streaming on Netflix. Seems so